All right, Bob Chapman with us for the rest of the hour. Bob, thanks for holding while I finished up that key breakdown. Speak in detail from your 45 years of fighting the globalists, formerly Army Intelligence, one of the biggest silver and gold brokers in history, private brokers, uh, the number one newsletter until you retired. You've now come back to fight these people. From your study of the New World Order, is what I said accurate? And why do you think they're coming out and announcing one-child policy, global dictatorship, forced abortion in the U.S. and Canada and Europe, uh, CPS taking almost all the children? It's all being announced, sir. No longer in the in the in the documents now publicly. Bob Chapman. Well, that's exactly the way it is, and uh, as an evolutionary process, I and a handful of others have been talking about it for 50 years. And it's here and now. Uh, I could have not said it any more fully or uh, any better than what you have. Um, I, I heard you yesterday or earlier in today. I, I think it was earlier today. And um, uh, one of the things that uh, you touched on that you didn't touch on this morning was the uh, taxing intent of uh, formulating uh, a new currency to be based on uh, on uh, carbon taxes and uh, th this is the strongly one of the ways that uh, they want to entrap people uh, the taxation and uh, a new world currency based upon carbon and uh, I, th I think we may uh, have uh, uh, stopped them uh, we'll, we won't know for a few months yet but uh, you've been very close to uh, closer than I to what's happening uh, in Copenhagen and uh, it, it, they are conducting themselves uh, at the meeting like nobody ever heard about climate gate and the release of the emails that identified them for creating global warming as a fraud and a ruse they are just going ahead full steam doing what they want to do uh, and as you said, in regard to the president in signing the document uh, to try to enforce it in the United States and bypassing uh, the um, the House and the Senate and, uh, and uh, essentially setting himself up as a, a dictator and committing high treason, uh, that's, her, that's her attitude in this thing. They think they can get away with anything. And one of the things that they should that they've missed i think is they think they control the military and they don't and i think they're going to find that they're going to push a little bit too far along the way here and that's going to be in the next year or two and uh, everything's going to break loose well the key is when when you got government documents 45 years ago i got government documents 14 years ago we didn't just sit here and shut up because the media called us kooks we would hold up the official imf world bank un plans so we've warned, you've probably done 10, 20, 30,000 interviews. What do you do, five, six, seven a day for 30, 40 years? I, I mean, I've been reaching hundreds of millions of people over the years. My films alone, seen over 100 plus million times on YouTube and Google. That's publicly, the, you know, the newspapers report that with horror that we're so effective. So we warned everybody. Now, everything we said would happen happened exactly as we said. Not because we have crystal balls. We were reading their own documents. Now people are freaking out and listening. And so we're beginning to get the momentum. Ron Paul said his audit the Fed's going to pass the House today. I mean, we are devastating them thanks to the fact that we didn't care about being demonized or laughed at, Bob. That's right. And we're going to keep right on doing it and sticking it to them. And we're going to win. But we've got to have the, the help of the public. They've got to get with us. They have to uh, take the information that they uh, that we have and go to their elected direct representatives, especially at the lower levels and the uh, the the city councils and county councils and mayors and aldermen and 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 and, and state representatives. Uh, go to sovereignty, push the government, push them right to the edge, push Wall Street right to the edge. We have to continue to identify the enemy. I mean, how bold is it? How incredible is it for you to see them openly come out and admit global government, openly come out and say world government, planetary, one-child tax, take your children by law, openly being announced by the Chinese delegation, they own our debt, 
to see them openly announcing a global control over all transportation, a U.N. authority, a 2% tax on all GDP of countries, hundreds of taxes on all human activity, 700-plus new U.N. bureaucracies. I mean, this is amazing. It certainly is, and uh, they're going for it because they don't have any other choice. Um, they took the program forward. They made a big mistake. They couldn't stop, and they can't stop any more now than they could then. And if they don't go forward, they're going to be gobbled up anyway. Very well said, Bob Chapman. Let's continue to break this down on the other side of this quick break. This is the one, the only GCN Radio Network. I'm Alex Jones. Coming up in the next segment, we'll get into the economy, but this is the economy. The IMF and World Bank, in the leaked Danish text, the real version that's in the text of what they're going to introduce next week, they were going to keep it secret. It came out three days ago to double or right at double the taxes on the third world over what the West has to pay. They suckered the third world into getting behind the treaty, telling them, oh, you're going to get America's money. You're going to get Europe and Britain and Japan's money. No. The banks get our money and the banks get your money. Okay, you understand? They always play us off against each other, divide and conquer. And in there it states the World Bank and IMF will get all the money, totally dictatorial. The countries sign their sovereignty in a treaty in a contract, away. And Obama said three days ago in Associated Press, they said, if the Senate doesn't ratify this, I will implement it by executive fiat, quote, command and control. And then now here's another headline. Now EU wants global transaction tax to fund bailouts, a direct transaction tax to the private banks. I mean, Bob, this is just like Madoff declaring himself king or something and everyone bowing down. Madoff, of course, was involved in this at the highest levels with Ken Lay. I mean, this is so criminal. This is so openly criminal. How does anyone go along with it, Bob? Well, they, don't want, they won't once they find out. And that, what that is is a transaction tax, and that is on securities transactions. And they've had that in the United States before. During the 1960s, they had such a tax. And uh, it's just another way of raising revenue, and um, and it's not good, of course. Uh, people, you know, don't need to pay any more taxes anywhere, for that matter. And uh, yes, they also uh, are allowing uh, the uh, the rich countries, so to speak, uh, to emit uh, 2.67 tons of carbon. Uh, per day, but the third world countries can only emit 1.44 tons per day, uh, which is about per double. person per year. Yeah, yeah, and uh, and you know as George Orwell uh, said, uh, some are more equal than others. Uh, it, it, this is so totally chauvinistic and, as you say, diabolical. And it's being sold yeah. as liberal to help Africa when it will admittedly kill them in mass. These people are on the edge of starvation. This will kill them. The, the ethanol scam killed 10 million extra last year. And then here's George Soros. Climate colonialism. Soros wants poorer nations to take on green debt. So Soros gets our tax money, literally paid to him and Al Gore. Then they loan it, loan sharking rates to the third world, and they don't even get the money if they don't sterilize people. I mean, can you think of something more evil, Bob? No, and that, uh, you know, the... The Gore family made their money with Arm and Hammer, and after the wall came down, uh, the, the, the records of the Soviet Union became public, and uh, uh, the Arm and Hammer was uh, identified by the uh, former Soviets as a secret agent going back into the 1920s. He was a KGB agent. So the Gore family made their wealth by being involved in business deals with other Marxists. But obviously. at a higher level, correct me if I'm wrong, it's been declassified now, McCarthy was right. He found out that the army was running it and the banks were running it. They just created the communists as a rent -a mob to go rob the czars and the people and make them slaves and call it revolution. And so Hammer was actually just working for the globalist. That's right. And I had met him many times because I was in the brokerage business in Los Angeles, and he would always be coming around with a dog and pony show uh, about Occidental Petroleum. Petroleum so.